guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload. This is our fall favorites. We do this every year. Let's get into it. Okay, first we're going to talk through some food favorites because we always have so many of those in our fall favorites. First up is the Trader Joe's Salted Maple Ice Cream. This is our favorite ice cream from Trader Joe's. We recently tried it. It's new this year, but it's so good. If you just like a very rich, creamy ice cream with like minimal add-ins, I feel like you'll love this. It just has like a maple, um, kind of salted maple like syrup running through mm -hmm. it. Um, but it's very, just, it's not too sweet still, but it's like, again, just so creamy, so and decadent. Like perfectly salty. So delicious. 10 out of 10 I recommend. Okay, we recommend this every year. Now it has like the ice cream Yeah, I put on the it. ice cream on it. But it's the butternut squash mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. It's our favorite Trader Joe's item, period. Yeah. We love it so much. And it's basically just like a blend of like all these delicious like rich cheeses and like fall spices. You really can taste like the sage. Um, the noodles are like cooked perfectly. Yeah, it's so good. They actually were talking about it on the Trader Joe's podcast and they brought up, like the host brought up that year after year, if people like vote for it for the best item at Trader Joe's in their awards, their customer the yearly awards. Yeah, choice awards. Um, and they were like, we're just always shocked by it because it's here for like, and it's not even here through winter. No. They said it's here for like a month or two and yet it leaves such an impression. <laughs> so if that says anything. You must buy. Yes. Okay, then this is a new favorite this year. The favorite day Sour orange jelly pumpkin candies. These are from Target, and we almost ate the whole bag. They really put a Trader Joe's sticker on there, but they're from Target. Yeah, because like the Trader Joe's gave us these false. Yeah, they were really cute. This can be a favorite because yeah. I love them. I put them on everything. Um, but these are new this year, and they basically taste like a gummy orange. Yeah, but they're but so they're good. They're like actually authentically orange. Yeah. They're just really soft and like they say sour, but they're not super sour. No. Um, but they're a good sour sweet blend. The cutest yeah. shape in the world. Yeah, the pumpkin shape is so cute. They're yeah. so good. I they're, think kids would love them. They're these. like one of the best gummies I've tried. To be yeah. And that's like a, saying a lot. Yeah. Then we also have the Duncan Pumpkin Munchkin Creamer. This is the best pumpkin creamer I would say we've tried. tried. We haven't tried the Chobani yet. We've been trying to get our hands on it. Yeah, but he, this is better than the Starbucks one. This is better than the Coffee Mate one. This is the best one we it tried. It says like real ingredients, which I think is what makes it taste more authentic. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there's not that many ingredients in here. Yeah, it just tastes real, but you can taste like the pumpkin spice flavor. It's really good. It's new this year too. Yeah, this is actually empty, so we need to get a new one. Mm -hmm. I just saved it for the video. The next one we don't have here because we ate them, but the Perfect Bar pumpkin pie flavor. We look forward to these every single mm -hmm. year. We love Perfect Bars. If you're looking for like a protein, type of breakfast bar but that's very like rich and you keep them in the refrigerator so they're like rich and cold mm -hmm. they're just really really good they have a lot of flavor but they don't taste super healthy but they are that type of thing and the pumpkin pie is the best one again it just has like that added a bit of like spiciness but like the pumpkin flavor but not too sweet they're so good so good um you can get them at target so we just don't have them here because we ate them last week mm -hmm. we have a couple perfumes to talk about first is this zara perfume it's supposed to be a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge. Rouge. It's like 845.40. Um, but it's Red Temptation and it basically just smells, I mean, it smells strong. It's a bold perfume. It's like a deep, sensual, but it's spicy. Yeah, like spicy scent. Maybe like a little musky too. Yeah, and I've been wearing it so much. I feel like this makes a good fall perfume because like Carly was saying, it's a deep scent, mm -hmm. but it just has some like lighter notes. So yeah. I feel like I wouldn't necessarily categorize this as a winter perfume where I would reach for like very like dark, deep I guess that's in the true. winter. That's this true. is like fall to me. Like it's musky, it's deep, and it's like warm, mm -hmm. but it's not, you know, you guys know. You yeah. know how, what I mean. Um, and then mine, I bought this last year. I think they still have it this year. It's Replica Autumn Vibe, so obviously perfect. I think I might have put this in the video last year. I feel year. like they smell similar. They do kind of smell similar. Mm -hmm. This smells a little bit, a little bit, it's not sweet, but a little bit lighter and sweeter and more like approachable, but lots of leather notes. I love this. It just smells like autumn to me. I think they did an excellent job. Yeah, I love this one. Okay, for nail polish, we have, I know we've always had like nail polish favorites in these videos, but you guys know in this past year, we've like been pretty committed to Dazzle Dry. And we've been Mine using, literally just tipped today after like two weeks. It's like, crazy. it looks so good. I had someone ask me like if I did like, 
if I got gel nails done and I was like, no, this is something called Dazzle Dry and you can do it at home. It's crazy. We need to get a new, after I used it last night, like we need a new base coat and top because mm -hmm. we use it so often. Um, but we had, we started off with the like brown nude shade called Chic and that I guess I would still consider a fall polish, but I've been wearing that all year round. So because fall came up, we're like, we want a new fall nail yes, polish I shade. love the red too, but it's a little like summery because it's bright. Yeah. So we went on their website and we picked up this shade Vigor. It's this one right here. I'm wearing it right now. It's like how I would describe kind of like a slight gray meets forest green. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's like the perfect it's like, like a deep sage medium depth. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's exactly what I pictured when we saw it on their website. So I think their photos are we, really good. Dazzle Dry, please sponsor us. I know. We, need, <laughs> we cannot sing your praises enough if yeah. you're watching this video. I know. So we got this shade. I used it right away. It immediately became a favorite. It's the perfect fall polish in my opinion. Um, and then one other thing, not like a specific shade but i saw tinks if you guys follow tinks on tiktok and instagram she was like we are doing chocolate brown on the toes for fall and i don't think i've ever worn chocolate brown on my toes i and did i had it on would be for oh, you and so that's that. not chocolate like I this is like that's chocolate true. that's true and so i use the lights lacquer olivia shade um which i can i think it's olivia i'll link it down below as well on my toes and i was like why have i never done this chocolate brown on the toes for fall makes so much sense especially in southern california mm -hmm. where we can wear like open-toed shoes during fall I am obsessed. So the, the, the combo of both is giving me so much like fall vibes right mm -hmm. now. Okay, and then for my favorite fall lip, this is kind of hard because usually I would gravitate more towards like a deep terracotta. Like I feel like that's what I'm like wearing in the fall, but I didn't want to do that because I've been loving the Merit lipstick in 1990 and wearing it today. It's like a perfect like brown brownie nude that's deep like I feel like in the fall and winter I gravitate more towards like deeper nudes and this one I feel like flatters my skin tone really well I love this formula because it's so lightweight and balmy it's just like very easy to wear easy to apply kind of like it's just effortless I would say this type of formula um so I've been loving this and I've been reaching for it so much so I wanted to put it in this video if you're looking for a new fall lip Okay, I only have like one clothing item and they're these loafers I got from Zara. They're like loafer mules, so they look like loafers, but they slide on, there's no back. And I love them, and in general, I'll see if these are still available, I'm sure they are because they're new. But in general, I just think like the loafer look is so cute for fall. Yeah. It's like, especially I love these because I can slide them on. Yeah. And in California, we don't have to wear like full-on shoes in the I was gonna fall. say like in fall I'm also wearing mules always and I have a pair from Zara I think they're they might be two years old at this point they're like a brown snake skin print that I just love and I've like worn so much I'm like still debating buying like Gucci ones because I mm -hmm. feel like I would get so much use out of them even though maybe they're not cool anymore but for me I don't have a specific pair of mules for fall yeah for sure okay and then for a candle favorite we realized we don't have this one because we went and got the um capri blue pumpkin clove from anthro like a few weeks ago but they didn't have the spice cider in store at that time and spice cider is the one i'm putting in this video but i don't have it <laughs> we have to go get it yeah because it is my favorite fall candle it's affordable like capri blue is pretty like they're a mid-tier price point i would say and it's just like so spicy but has apple notes but it's not like artificial apple it's just the best candle from capri blue i feel that could be a bold statement but i feel like it's my favorite mm -hmm. one this one's fine, pumpkin cloak. It's good, it's just not as good. And like the tunneling was honestly really bad in this one. So maybe I just- We always buy the tins though, there's different shapes. Yeah, so maybe maybe you'll have better luck. But we're, even if it, the Capri Blue Spice Cider tunnels, I'm still gonna get it because it's the best fall scent. Mm -hmm. And I should say we also burn our Dyad candles yeah. in the fall, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I wanted to put a book favorite in here, and maybe it's just because it's my favorite book of the year, but Book Lovers by Emily Henry. It just gave major fall vibes when reading That's it. That's true. Um, like, the main character was named after Nora Ephron, and it just, like, I had a lot of those, like, Nora Ephron movie type feels to me, like, small town, love story, surrounded by books. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, elements that reminded me of fall. Um, so I think it's like a cozy book for fall. That's true. Well, if you're talking about Nora Ephron, then we have to mention You've Got Mail. Yeah, I know it's my favorite movie of all time, 
But I'm just going to bring it up in this video because I'll bring it up whenever I get the chance. Yes. And that movie, if you need to be in the fall mood, watch You've Got Mail and you will immediately be transported to New York City in the yeah. fall. So good. Nothing like it. And then TV show, this one was so easy. Every single, so, every, every single fall, I start Gilmore Girls yes. over. And I like cannot avoid it. And even when I'm like, oh, I've watched this so many times, I still turn on I and never I still get to enjoy it. And there's just nothing like watching that show in the fall. Mm -hmm. It's been my nightly go-to. It's the best. I love it. Logan Hunsberger, you're it. Team Logan. <laughs> team I think Logan we asked you guys this before, life. but can you comment below? Back us up. Even if you're not Team Logan, we're curious as to why. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am um, that Murray on TikTok, how she's watching Gilmore Girls for the first time and going through it on TikTok, and she, like, really loves Jess and she's team Jess but then she'll be like oh I see what you guys see in Logan but then she'll take it back and say he has red flags no and I'm just like so shocked by the comments because most people are like yeah Logan's awful team Jess and I'm like what no we team have Logan. before Logan is the only one that's ever treated her as an equal as a partner yeah Jess treated her terribly yeah. Dean felt like she needed to yeah. be kept well, she this <laughs> this girl loves Dave and I agree and oh, I actually true. never realized until she brought it up that I guess he like left to go film the OC and that's why they never like said oh, where he really? yeah, like said where he went or what happened to him because they were like oh. him and Lane were like good and then he yeah. just wasn't on the show and I never realized that before but yeah Team Dave as well yeah he Dave is great, great. Well, Logan yeah come on he's the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all of our fall favorites. Please let us know what you are loving this fall or any fall down below. We need to hear it. Everything. Movies, books, makeup, food. Oh, yeah.